Hey guys, my name is Simpsy. How are you all doing? Welcome back to some more Game of Thrones Total War here today on the channel. We're back on the Fire and Blood mod. We're going to be starting a brand new series on the Roberts Rebellion campaign. We're playing as the man, the myth, the legend, Bobby B himself. How are you all doing? Welcome to the stream, everyone. As you come on in, make sure to leave the video a like and subscribe if you're new. I'd really much appreciate it. Let's go. Welcome, Rob Stark. Welcome to the chat. Rip, though. <laughs> uh, Joe storms in on 7K. Yes, I guess. Go find the breastplate and the stretcher now. Ah, fucking start the stream before I piss myself. <laughs> oh, dude. I fucking love Bobby, Br Bobby B. <laughs> He's, uh... Definitely my fucking main man. Oh, he's so fucking great. He's probably one of the major reasons, and Stannis, as to why um, I like House Baratheon a lot. But a little bit of an impromptu st stream here today. Um, I wasn't actually planning on streaming today because I was watching the footy here in Australia. Oh no, my Brisbane Lion boys. Fucking lost. <laughs> <laughs> there was a chance we could go to the grand final, but we fucking lost. So I'm pretty gutted about that. <laughs> so I was up late anyway, so I was like, well, might as well do another stream. We wrapped up uh, yesterday's video slash stream playing as uh, Damon Targaryen, the rogue prince. And I thought, why not here today? Let's start a new series now. I was kind of tempted to go away from all the dragons and stuff because they're a little bit overpowered, <laughs> to say the least, in this mod. I was maybe like I was um and are in, in the last video between like playing uh, the War of the Five Kings or potentially Aegon's Conquest, but I thought why not? Let's play the scenario where there's no dragons. It's pure total war and military strategy because unless the AI has dragons, it's very hard for the AI to really stop the dragons because they're just so overpowered. <laughs> a dragon can't kill you, but a boar can, Tristan. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. Hi all. Um, Dorji uh, Jellic, I think that's how you say that. What do you think of the new uh, Hot D show? I'm loving it. I'm really, really enjoying it. In the last episode in the uh, Damon campaign, we spoke uh, a lot about Hot D and Rings of Power and stuff. But uh, let's get stuck into it now, shall we? So, we're going to be kicking things off. We're allied with House Stark, Bolton, the Freys, the Tullys, and the Arons. We're currently at war with House Targaryen, House Tyrell, and House Martell. Haven't played this uh, particular campaign. I'm curious to see how difficult it is. So we have uh, Robert Baratheon here <laughs> with Henry Cavill. As the display picture, I do find it quite funny that a lot of people think that um young Henry Cav or young Robert Baratheon should be like young Henry Cavill. He's eighteen. Robert Baratheon, the Hammer of Storm's End. His younger brother Stannis is currently the heir. Stannis, heir of Storm's End, the Manus, and then Renly Seven, who's not of age. So, let's muster the men of the Stormlands. We have a full stack here, mostly made up of Stormland Knights. Stag Swordsmen as well. House Baratheon Guard. But feel free to ask me anything. I'll try and answer as best I can. But yeah, we can talk about Game of Thrones. Um, Rings of Power. I don't know. Hot D. We can talk about anything. And I'll try and answer it as uh, best I can. So, I think mobilizing everyone. Trying to take... King's Landing as quickly as possible from the Mad King is more than likely the play. Can you give me a backstory of this campaign? I don't know, Game of Thrones. Modest Flamingo. Uh, basically, Lyanna Stark died. Uh, Bobby B got kind of pissed off. The Starks are pissed off because the Targaryens and the Mad King. <laughs> um, basically, yeah. The King's Mad killed a bunch of Starks. And we're going to try and uh, stop... The Mad King. Obviously, the Starks, Eddard Stark, is up in the north. The Boltons are their king, uh, uh, their vassals. The Freys and I guess the Tullys are united. John Arryn basically raised Robert and Ned, and obviously the Targaryens are 
have they have a marriage alliance with House Martell, so that's why they're fighting together. And I'm not too sure about the Tyrells. I think it's oh yes, because House Gardner got crushed and then House Tyrell um, became the main prominent house. So let's have a look who we've got at our disposal. Like who who do we even have? We have a couple Penroses. We have a couple Swans here as well. Estamonts, Wilds, Conningtons, Fells, Bucklers, Selmies. We have a couple Tarths as well. So I have no idea how stable this particular campaign is. Never played as before. We had a couple game crashes. The Fire and Blood campaign crashes constantly. So we'll have to see how we go. Uh, we've got Brianna Tarth here, who's 12. Interesting. Okay, so let's... I think Stannis should always stay in Storm's End. <laughs> Maybe. It'd be kind of funny. Oh, the turn timers are quite harsh. Okay, so I guess we need money. It's probably going to be a little bit hard to get that. Alright, so we want to try and mobilize, like I said. Um, so I think holding a couple of these points of interest is going to be tough. Because like I said, we're surrounded by the Martells, the Tyrells, and the Targaryens to the north. So I think taking King's Landing, killing the Mad King, and naming Robert Baratheon King upon the Iron Throne throne we're doing the uh usurper campaign so i suppose we move everyone to haystack hall because that's where we potentially could get attacked so we've got penrose units here let's mobilize them but i haven't actually played this fire and blood mod without dragons so it's going to be interesting so like i said let's uh mobilize everyone It'll be interesting to see how difficult it is. It could end in tears. It could end in failure. <laughs> but we'll, we'll see how we go. I think we move the army from Griffin's Roost south. So we've got Blackhaven. Uh, we might actually have to make a defensive position here. Uh, who do we bring? You're younger, so I suppose you come here. So, we're rallying as everyone as we can. We've got Greenstone here with some Estamont units. I actually don't mind House Estamont. The turtle. George always seems to have a turtle on him. Alright, so... Also, we like need to properly mobilize our uh, units. <laughs> We've got so many of them. We can't just rely on the dragon stacks. Okay. So... Robert has called his banners and wants the brave men of the Stormlands to defend. Now, I don't know. Are we going to be able to hold Night Strong? Hmm. It's going to be tough. So, we'll try and get some units. Maybe just delaying the Tyrell and potential... Martel push. So who's in here? Aegon, Karen, Bryce, Karen as well, or Karen. I don't know everyone. Who is a bannerman of the um the Stormlands? We got Ralph Selmy, Arston Selmy. Okay, and then we've got the Don Darians in Blackhaven. <laughs> We've got Beric Dondarrion here. Yeah, so I guess we sort of try and hold at Blackhaven. We've got this House One here as well. So let's try and move them out. Blackhaven is probably going to be a point that gets targeted. Who the hell's this? Hugh Granson? Fucking... Um, Prince Caspian? <laughs> That's quite funny. Okay, let's... Uh, Check a safe. Alright. Which is the bigger number? Five or one? One. One army. <laughs> Bread for pure conquest. Or conquest or whatever the quote is. <laughs> Rebellion. When will you do Napoleon Total War again? The Belgian guy? Uh, I don't know. Probably not for some time. I thought I was going to be playing the uh, Great War mod a lot when I did my Germany campaign. But that mod crashes bloody more than this one. Like, it's just annoying. Because every time 
there's a game crash when you record, there's like a potential corruption of the file or potentially the save or the actual like video file. So it's really, really annoying when games crashes. Sorry, I just need a sip of water. When a game crashes, that's better English. Are you going to play Blood and Wine anytime soon? Jeez. Sorry, Mikey. <laughs> You've been waiting on that. Because I did my um, Witcher series playing as... Well, Henry Cavill as the Witcher. We did um, the main story, which was so much fun. And we did, um, of course... Hearts of Stone. That was the DLC. You know, I've yet to play Blood and Wine. But I've heard it's probably better than... It's, I've heard it's the best DLC. I heard it's better than the base game. What's your favorite game of all time? I don't know. Probably Oblivion. Oh, it's back. Hi, hello, sup. Hi, Nathaniel. Welcome to the stream. Build an army of cavalry. If anyone wants more info about Robert's Rebellion, the Game of Thrones, history and lore. That's super helpful. Yeah, there's a bunch of them. Okay, well... Let's uh, end the turn and continue, uh, I suppose. No, there's a bunch of uh, law YouTubers out there and stuff. Uh, Kings and Generals with um, Devon. The Wizards and... Is it Wizards and Warlocks? I can't even remember the name of the goddamn channel now. Or is it Wizards and Warlords or something? It's the fantasy one. That's pretty good. Okay, we are hemorrhaging a little bit of cash at the moment. But I'm curious to see... How well are we doing this series? So the military power currently sits with the Dothraki. The Starks currently have the financial, which is a little bit weird. Rich is a Stark. The Tyrells have the production, population. Overall, the Dothraki have the rest. And we get some other upgrades there. So moving everyone to Blackhaven for now, just to form up a defensive position. But as you guys come on in, make sure to leave the video Slash, slash uh, future stream alike. I would really much appreciate it. Particularly if you want to see more Game of Thrones on Medieval 2. I was sort of umming and ahhing whether or not to potentially there's a Martell fleet here we've got to watch out for. More Warhammer, but seeing how fantastic you guys were on supporting the Daemon Targaryen series. I had to do more Game of Thrones. I couldn't not. <laughs> okay, I think we try and engage this Martell fleet before it tries to circumnavigate Evenfall Hall. So, five to four. Can we decimate the Martell navy? We can. So that's huge, as House Aaron's coming up here to help out as well. Wizards and Warriors. Yeah, I knew it was something like that. Wizards and Warlocks. Or war <laughs> that was better. I think I think I think I had a better name. Warlocks. <laughs> or Warriors. Oh, God. Make a series. Don't add dragons because they're up. Well, there's no dragons in this. It's Robert's Rebellion. All the dragons are dead. Yeah, well, we're making it as um, a campaign slash um, live video series. So, depending on how many more episodes we can do, we can do more. But the thing is, with live streams, you can get through campaigns a lot quicker, which is good. So you get more of um, other campaigns a lot quicker because normally, right? Okay, there's a Tyrell host coming up here. If I was to sit down and record this evening for a couple of hours, I'd probably cut it all up into like five videos, so you'd be getting it over a week. We can stream tonight for a couple of hours and come quite close to wrapping up a campaign, because I never... I'm not the one that does long campaigns, quite frankly, because I get sick of them and lose interest. There's always just something new to play. Personally. Okay, let's uh, continue to m still m yeah, move to Blackhaven. We might actually need to abandon Knight Strong. 
Okay, that's not too much. Or... Yeah, we're just trying to distract... We just want to try and distract the Tyrell. And... Martel forces. Guess we move you up here. Um... We want a small garrison. We're hemorrhaging cash at the moment. We really need to start... Sacking territory. Oh my god, it's pouring down with rain here at the moment. It's fucking bucketing here in Australia. Okay, let's get uh, Bobby to go north. Bobby B. Rings of power is boring. Rings of power is the worst. Yeah. I need to stop shitting on it. I was had a massive rant yesterday. <laughs> I was talking some mad shit. But yeah, no, I haven't watched the latest episode. I fucking refuse. Seems like Stannis looked like an old man when he was 17. Oh yeah. They haven't got a young Stannis. Oh, here we go. Robert Baratheon as a potential wife. Uh, I don't think... We'll try and find him a princess. Or if a realistic name comes up. Oh god, I hope the power doesn't go out. That'd be fucking cringe. But yeah, was the latest episode any good? Just like, was it good or bad or bo good, bad or boring? <laughs> episode four, because it came out uh, yesterday. I, I haven't actually watched it, to be fair. Start a battle. Well, we'll get to a battle. Have you heard of the anime series called Galactic Hero? No, I haven't. I don't know what that is. Don't abandon your rich cities. Yeah, well, I guess we'll try and hold them as best we can. I'm just trying to think, do we risk losing characters? The main character feels like Witcher. Both of the main characters. Uh, 8K can be annoyed, yeah. Well, um, I would like to play Blood and Wine. Maybe I should stream it at some point in the future. If that's something you guys... Um uh, would like to see. Hey, hello. Are you going to do a battle? Yeah, we're going to do a battle. Jesus Christ, everyone's so impatient. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get a battle. There'll be plenty of battles. This is Robert's Rebellion. My god, can you guys hear that? Or is it just me? Jesus Christ. Oh, we've got a bunch of infantry here. Nice. Well, let's get them to the front lines. Uh, I might even move Stannis back to rendezvous with them. We haven't even had an opportunity for a battle just yet. Oh my god, who's this? Selwyn Tarth? <laughs> Nice. It's uh, Rollo from Vo Vikings. Can you kill the weakest enemy? Uh, yeah, I suppose. Spam cavalry, declare war army. Ours is the fury, yes. We're at war with plenty of factions. We don't need to declare war upon anyone just yet. We don't want to add to the list. We're already at war with like, heaps of people. Got to keep an eye on the Martels, though, to be fair. So... I guess we wait for them to attack me here. Willis, the heir of High Gardens, coming up along with Garth Tyrell. Who awfully looks like Henry Cavill again. <laughs> okay, so let's get Robert Baratheon to push to the King's Wood. Lewin, Knight of the King's Guard, is on patrol here, I suppose. Targaryen commander. He's actually Lord of the King's Wood. Of Martell. Is he Lewin Martell, is he? Not exactly sure who this is. But we don't need to play this one. Clear victory. Lewin Martell has been slain. The series is about a larger galactic conflict. I recommend it. Oh, look at it. Nathaniel, start battle. <laughs> You guys are just taking the piss now. <laughs> There's a ton of Game of Thrones mod, minimum two per game. Yeah, it, I don't understand what you saying. The recruitment system is like two turns. Uh, two turns per unit. If that's what you're trying to say. 
All right, Kingswood is now under our control. Um, I'm trying to think. Should I leave Stan? No, I should push. No, I want Stannis to come up and fight. The thing is, he was obviously um, famed for his defense of Storm's End when bloody Mace Tyrell, the fucking oaf, <laughs> surrounded it in and... Uh, Sieged him out for the majority of the war. So we'll wait for these to attack us. Uh, we've got Martell units coming up here. Okay. Let's continue on. Hey, if you go in battle, please see the chat. When you tend to play battles, you tend not to read the chat, if anything. Okay, so we have been attacked here now. Two to one. Mm, we could lose. Yeah, that's what I was trying to think. Should we abandon Knight Strong? Because it's going to be a tough one. They have no commander. We're mostly coming up against Tyrell, Household Guard, Cavalry, two battering rams, a ladder, and a siege tower. So the first battle of Robert's Rebellion is going to be a defensive siege. Bryce Caron. Defending Night Song, their ancestor, ancestral home. Let's uh, fight this one on the battlefield. Let's go. Time to kill. Yep. Time to die. What I mean to say, you recruit Baratheon named units. Can they be recruited in Baratheon lands? So you conquer Lannister lands. There are there Lannister units instead. I would imagine so. It does seem to work like that because there's buildings on the, uh, there's like unique buildings that do that. Like in the settlements, there's like a banner, so. Alright, so this is Night Song. This is a pretty cool settlement. Obviously there's like custom settlements in this. I'm just trying to think where we defend. So they're coming from here and they're deploying back as well. Alright, let's put our crossbows. Okay, I was going to say, let's put our crossbows on the gatehouse. But no, I just want to pull everyone back at least. Well, I'll put my crossbows on the walls. So that we can hopefully repel them. Uh, we'll chuck a spear unit here at the... Oh my god, I can't really deploy it. The deployment zone's a bit shit here. Alright, I might just have to keep the art, the crossbows, and... What the fuck? I think it's just a bit buggy. Hang on. Move everyone back to the town square, and then we'll go again. Yeah, no, it's not letting me, like, deploy there. Oh, there we go. That's a bit better. Okay. So, well, let me put Spearman here now. Okay, so we're just going to have to redeploy everyone slightly. The fuck? Don't you hate it when the deployment zone isn't very big? <laughs> we'll try and make do. Okay. Let's start it in pause because I haven't been able to properly deploy. So yeah, go something like this and then chuck you here and then like, I can't even get you up here. Uh, I guess that's impassable potentially. Is that what's making it? They can't really use that right hand side. They can't even move up here though as well. I do keep on like seem to be double clicking on units as well. What the fuck? Because that doesn't seem to help. Alright, and then I guess we send the uh, cavalry out. Nice. Alright. So, the brave Storm, Stormlander crossbows. Going to try and uh, get some shots off initially. We want to try and delay the Tyrells from taking 
core Baratheon territory, buying Bobby B time. But if we're quick enough, we might be able to move our cavalry out and get a solid charge. But obviously you can see, we've got custom Baratheon units. They look sick. What do you guys reckon? What's your favorite house in the comments? Mine's definitely a Baratheon. Okay, so let's charge with you and let's swing around. If we can delay their siege equipment from getting to the the walls, that would be fantastic. The longer the better. Uh, ideally, if we could somehow cycle charge here a bit better, that would be more effective. But yeah, let me know feedback and suggestions. Those that have played this mod. Okay, there's like three left now. We go for another charge here. So far, the Baratheon Cavalry are valiantly carving up these cell swords. It's going to be a men at arms, rather, not cell swords. Cell swords we were fighting a lot in the, uh, the Daemon campaign, I suppose. Maybe try and form up here. Oh, wow, they're actually broken. They are shattered. Very nicely done. Oh, we do have to be a little bit careful here, because now we're starting to drag arrow fire on us. Alright, let's pull back. Those crossbows are ripping through us. We've lost 6% to their 15. Just got to be careful here. Pull back this way. Quickly now. Double time. Ours is the fury. Yeah. Is there like a house symbol after the main building settlement? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. There's like a... I think there's a sigil per settlement. That indicates whether or not you can recruit from there. Don't show mercy. Okay. Now, the only problem is there's the gateway here. I might have to pull back slightly because I want the gate to s close. I'm going to pull this way. Because we want to try and hit them and cycle charge them from the side. Yeah, we, yeah, there we go. Now the gate's fully closed. Pivot and pull this way. The longer we can distract them from actually getting to the... Um, the front lines, the better. Because that's how we're going to win this battle. Through... Skirmisher Supremacy. In the sense that you're using our arrow towers. Those bad boys should be like absolutely, absolute fucking machine guns. <laughs> okay. They're intertwining them. Oh shit, I need to continue with this cavalry. Showed the units. Showed a little of them. They're not the most crazy. Is it Caron or Caron? I don't really know this house. I can't really remember them that much. They're not that notable compared to the Don Darring, Don Darians or the Conningtons or House Swan. Some crossbows back here, but they have a bunch of cavalry. There's a lot of their cavalry there. Oh, nice. We've engulfed it with flames. Try and get the general inside. A little bit late for that, but that's huge. Oh my god, that's not the best effect, but that's alright. Um, let's try and get the main general back in the settlement. You're not wrong. I think our cavalry's sort of done. Is there a point over here? We have to get all the way here. Okay. So thankfully... Yeah, there's no way for the enemy to actually get on the walls. So if we can get everyone here to the front. So what do we got? Spearmen. Heavies. So as long as we can try and... I can't even deploy here properly. That's so annoying. 
it's like not letting me drag it properly. There we go. Yeah, because unless they pick up that ladder, they ain't coming in. We managed to kill 28% as the Tyrells slowly but surely move up the uh, battering ram. Bunch all in one place. Can't wait to have custom campaigns in Attila. Gonna be awesome to do Lord of the Rings and Game of Thrones campaigns, Deer Hunter. Yeah, no, I agree. I can't wait until uh, Rise of Mordor slash Dawnless Days has a customizable campaign. That's going to be incredible. I thought they kind of stopped development, though, for Seven Kingdoms Total. I don't know when the next Game of Thrones uh, mod is going to be out. You know what I mean? Like, when's the next... Is there ever going to... Like, is, have, has anyone announced one? Oh, shit. Who's this? Oh, they need to be moving. Our crossbows are still going to absolute town. But our gateway is probably going to be crushed soon. Yeah. I thought they sort of stopped develop. Oh, we can actually form a shield wall. Let's do that. For all these units then. Yeah, I think they stopped development of se on uh, Seven Kingdoms Total War. The Game of Thrones mod didn't Blickmang and the boys um, stop up at updating. Okay, we have to go the long way to get this general in because we need to have uh, the morale to help out. Um, yeah, still need to move here. You can move here as well. But here come the Tyrells. Still burning and pouring hot boiling oil on them. Turn these flowers a little bit crispy. <laughs> We've managed to knock out 35%. 36 now. We've lost 13 of our own. Just need to hold on. And they're really going for it here. Checking everyone in. We desperately need to get these guys around. Yeah, maybe I should have kept one general there. Going to be so, so close this one. Bannerlord, Lord of the Rings, Game of Thrones mods look great. Yeah, I've heard good things about them, but are, are, they, are they actually properly fleshed out? Like, I know there's been betas and pre-stuff for a while, but... Yeah. Is there an alpha version with, like, quests and stuff? Because maybe I should look into it. At, when I tried to play it before, it was very bare bones. This is House Baratheon, yep. Starks are your favourite house, Lannis is your favourite house. The North remembers. Jeez, we seem to be advancing a lot. Even though they're meant to be in a defensive position. We lost 30% of their 69. It's now swung to the point where we probably could have used the cavalry out. On the outside. But the Tyrells are clashing upon the Stormland infantry. Like water on rock. Doing very well so far. Come on. Oh, this is going to be way too close to call. Yeah. I guess they weren't on garb mode, so they're just like constantly moving. Yeah, because even these guys are now charging in. The AI just seems ultra keen to push. All my infantry is now spent. And yeah, just pull back for that defensive position. Yeah, you need to get back here. Drop another rally. Oh, 
Oh god, this is going to go to the absolute bitter end. Shit. Yeah, just trying to get our crossbows to fire down in here. Their cavalry just might win. Oh, what's this? I think one of our generals died. Yeah, unfortunately. I guess we try and keep him alive. Uh, let's get these guys to draw their short swords. There goes the Tyrell captain, I think. Oh, nice, we won. We have victory. We have victory here today. Oh my god. That was way, way too close of a fight than what we needed for the first one of the series. Hi. Hi, the last dragon. How are you? What's up, Simsy? Hey, Georgie. How are you? Welcome to the stream again. Aegon, the last dragon. Yeah, something like that. Alright, let's uh, speed things up. We've somehow probably won a Pyrrhic victory here against the Tyrells. Delaying their attack on our border territory down in the Stormlands for some time. Nice. Yeah, we were nearly at number two to one there. Heroic victory. Look at the casualties sustained and inflicted. Warhammer of the Marchers, 247. Nice. Yes, we won. Yeah, very, very close one. A good result, though, in Bobby B's war. <laughs> Kermit Tully to Cregan Stark. That is so fucking funny that one of the earlier Tullys was called fucking Kermit. I see Robert is flexing, yeah. He wasn't in this particular fight. His bannermen were, but they've pulled a clutch battle. Let it be on your head, Stark. I want no part in this. But I will not have it said that the Lord of Riverrun stood in the way of justice. I'm assuming that's Dance the Dragon stuff. I guess we uh, execute them. Oh no. Uh, another marriage proposal. And once again, Night Song is besieged, <laughs> annoyingly. Yeah, so we probably lost it after all that anyway. Oh, well, a little bit of fun. Uh, yeah, I think here, for example, House Selmy. You can get House Selmy units. House Dondarrion, so. Um, does, no, that doesn't have one. Yeah, House Baratheon has one. Okay, a small Martell fleet has come up. Interesting. The Starks have moved a navy nearby. Alright, let's uh, move you here. We're still mobilizing more units. At Fellwood, trying to make a second stack. So Stannis is moving up with a stack and a half. Uh, Bobby B is making a, well, B line to King's Landing. Uh, Jarman Blunt. Captain Raygirl here. So we've got half a stack here at Haystack Hall defending from the north because the Targaryens do hold the Stormlands seats of Stone Dance and Sharp Point. We're pushing to King's Landing, of course. We're rallying up at Fellwood. And I think Blackhaven is where we make our stand in the south. Uh, we could maybe send... I'm just trying to think. I should have abandoned Night Song and Harvest Hall, to be honest. Because how Selmy's fucked. Hmm. Actually, you know what? We're probably going to still have a large military presence here. Nearly half a stack. Maybe we do make an army. So, let's send... Pretty much, like, a mixed match of these three. Um... Do we send John Connington? 
yeah, that'd be very, that's a very Stormland thing to do. Fucking send John Connington. Uh, we're not going to be able to choose who goes with him, so who cares? Let's just send half of these guys. Maybe to send everyone, eh? So we have a full stack nearly going. And we'll move them there. Let's go and try and uh, liberate Harvest Hall when it gets taken. I wonder how to download and install these strategy games. Uh, you need Medieval 2 and download the Fire and Blood mod. Mod still crashing? Uh, yeah, off and on. Just caught your stream? Yeah, Shrek son, welcome back again. Yeah, a little bit later here today. Um, from when I usually sort of start, but hey. I think it's sometimes better just to fucking start a couple hours later, if you're still planning to. But yeah, no. Basically everything, the times all threw me off because the footy didn't end until really late that I was watching. Here in Australia. So I was up late. Friday night in Australia. Oh, how's Tully's pushing into the Crownlands? But hey, I thought, why not? I'm chilling. I'm up late. Let's play some Game of Thrones. And, uh... Go live with you guys. So, yeah. If you haven't already, I know it's annoying, but make sure to leave the stream and future video like. We'd really much appreciate it as you guys come on into the chat. Particularly if you want to see more Game of Thrones, because I sort of do judge what the majority wants to see. People really want to see Warhammer. Like it. Dislike it if you don't. If you want to see... More Medieval 2 Game of Thrones. Make sure to like it. Oh, who's this? Morwen. Wait, no, who's the princess here? Okay. Yeah, we don't have any other princesses. Yeah, so I think Night Song is kind of... Oh, Harvest Hall's been liberated. Interesting. Alright, that's something to keep an eye on. Do we send... Oh, wow, what's this? The Targaryens with Monfred Valerion. And Aegor Valarion, uh, not Valarion, is it? Valarion. Yeah, I think I would say Valarion. It's Val um, Corlys Valarion. Yeah, that's what he is in the show. So Aegor Valarion and Monfred Valarion have rocked up. Uh, that's not good. We really don't have a military force to deal with that. I guess Stannis moves back. Because if we lose Evenfall Hall, that's annoying. So I guess we send Stannis with Selwyn Tarth back to do a uh, reclaiming mission, I guess, if it gets conquered. We might have to reclaim it. I got CK2N. Uh, maybe at some point. Watching you from Bangladesh. Welcome. Opinion on Total War Empire. I like it. Particularly with Darth Mod. Caesar... E. Lopez. Yo, what up? Welcome to the stream. How are you? How you doing? It's been a while. Which time period is this? It's uh, Robert's Rebellion. Yeah, so the Tullys are here. Walton Cox. Okay. Well, this is the moment of truth. Will we be able to take King's Landing from the Mad King? Robert, Rebellion's here with a full stack. Pushing to the bridge. Pushing over the border. The Mad King is inside with his gold cloaks. You gotta risk it. Let's go and siege King's Landing. Hopefully no Targaryen forces come and uh, rescue him, I suppose. So make or break. If we can't take King's Landing here today with this full stack, we could lose Bobby B. I guess it's up to Stannis and Renly, potentially. Yeah, I haven't decided what to do with them, guys. Should we try... I Like, who is someone we can marry them off to in this? Like, are there that many princesses available? Should we wait for... some of the other princes in Westeros to come of age? Or, so, or should we just marry them off and roleplay who they marry to? What do you guys reckon? Re like, I don't know. 
But I guess we could try and find Cersei. Like, or maybe we should try and find a better fucking match <laughs> in this alternative timeline. Yeah, what would have happened if um, Bobby B married someone else than uh, Cersei Lannister? He might have had some fucking kids of his own, maybe. IDK man, sup man, good luck with the campaign. Thank you, I appreciate it. Please don't kill the children of Elia. Yeah, no, the Martells will never forget. Yeah, I don't know if we can win this one. Oh, maybe. No, I guess we ought to resolve this one. Night Strong is done out here. There's no point of trying to defend that again. We shouldn't have tried to defend it in the first place. They're just too strong. Martell and Tyrell in the south. So, House Caron is destroyed. The daughters are at war with the Confederation. I don't know who the, they are. Okay, so we still want to try and make Blackhaven a point here. Or we might actually be able to... Yeah, maybe we should put some pressure on the Tyrells here. Push this way. Um, I think I'm going to a... Hmm. I think I might abandon Harvest Hall. And we pull back to the Stormlands itself. Yeah. We move you to Blackhaven. And this is where we defend anything that comes into our lands here. But we will allow uh, Emin Grandison with Connington and the Swans to maybe just start sacking some reach territory. Okay, so... Montred uh, Valarion... Valarion... has attacked Evenfall Hall, and we'll get Stannis to deal with him. Um, what's this? A couple units have come up here. Will that... If I attack this, will that drag out... The garrison, it won't. Who's here at Stokeworth? I don't know. Anyway, uh, let's get Bobby B to besiege King's Landing. Okay, and let's have a battle with Stannis, I suppose. He's going to be at a crush. Um, <laughs> the. Yeah, Montfred Valarion. Oh no, he's just out of range. Oh, that sucks. A Tully girl, maybe? Yeah, good shout, Tristan. A Reach girl? What is your biggest what if you'd like to see in Game of Thrones? McMillionaire. Jon Snow on the Iron Throne. <laughs> Please. You already have an alliance with Tully, Stark, and Aaron. Damn, so many people. Yeah, people like Game of Thrones. John is the king. Yeah. Deets, uh, beats um, Arya killing the Night King. Yeah. I'll be back in a minute. Good luck. Thanks, Shrek, son. Thank you very much. Yeah, no, we're already at war with everyone. Have all these alliances and stuff. Okay, well, let's uh, end the turn and continue. Yep. Everyone likes to see Bobby B. <laughs> it's so funny. Okay, so... Yeah, we should have just given it up. Night Song. Okay, so let's move the Selmies out, because the last thing I want is House Selmy to be crushed. We do need to try... We are 40k in debt. That's so much. Okay, let's uh, besiege... The Grassy Vale. Anyone notable inside? House Meadow. We'll sack that. Okay, looks like the Tullys have come up here to help. Godry Rosby is here. And a couple of others. Yeah, I don't know why House Tully wants to help out. But we're going to have the Siege of King's Landing here today, which will be massive. John and Rob fighting together. Oh, no, you're right. Rob Stark. Yeah, I, I would have liked to see... John marched south with Rob once he was sort of declared as heir. I wonder what would have happened. I guess he would have died if he broke his oath earlier, to be fair. Also, I think as well, 
when Stannis offered to legitimize John and make him the heir of Winterfell. If he took it earlier, would he have got stabbed in the back? Well, he probably would have died if he went with Stannis, maybe. I don't know. With the pink letter. All right, so Ares Targaryen the Mad, the king upon the Iron Throne, Pyromancer. Let's uh, kill the Mad King with the help of the Tullys. Five to two without dragons. Can Bobby B take King's Landing? Let's go. Hope a second White Walker comes back. Yeah, Night King 2. Is that what we're fucking getting with that Game of Thrones show? With um, Jon Snow? Jon Snow? Game of Thrones 2? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I can't imagine what the fuck they're going to do with that. Anyway, here is uh, Bobby B. The man, the myth, the legend. How are we? With his famed Warhammer. Looks pretty good. It's not a bad Bobby B. Battle of the Trident should have been won by the prince who was promised. Yeah, it would have been interesting to see. Oh, there's all that theories as well, wasn't it? That like... Yeah, some people think that Rhaegar like, left King's Landing because he knew it was going to get sacked and they were overthrown. That he kind of threw, you know what I mean? Because he, he knew his father was mad, but he Bobby B just fucking caved his chest in and sent all the rubies down the river. <laughs> so this campaign is a free-for-all. Yeah, something like that. Hopefully we'll get Stark reinforcements in, but yeah, no, it's based off um, Robert's Rebellion, so a lot of houses that are allies and enemies in the main Game of Thrones are kind of switched slightly. Uh, we have a severe lack of archers. We actually don't have any. But here we go. We've got King's Landing here. And the City Watch is making some sort of defense. How Stokework, Stokeworth has sent some volunteers. We've got the Sept of Baylor here. Uh, we've got the Red Keep. Like, it's this iconic shot that I like to show all the time. Yeah, there we go. That looks properly like King's Landing. Here is the tower where Rhaenyra um, did the dirty. <laughs> Alright. And there the uh, secret passages. It's so cool. Like they in uh, Hot D episode 4, like showing the secret passages in the Red Keep. Very, very cool. But, man. This mod does seem a lot harder... Uh, particularly without dragons. <laughs> if Bobby B only had a dragon. Because I've played a lot of this Fire and Blood series with... Well, dragons. With Rhaenyra and Daemon and a couple of other... Uh, in, and Daenerys, to be fair. But the Baratheon units are about to come... Toe to toe with the gold cloaks. I do quite like the new look of the gold cloaks. Well, they quite li quite literally have a gold cloak. I think it looks cool. Looks better than um, these ones that are currently modelled now. He wanted to kill the Night King. Okay. Yeah, I, yeah. I don't know. I just don't... How would you do it? Like... Like, like, what's that Jon Snow show going to be? Is he just going to be doing dealing with wildling problems? Is he going to go to Skegos and... Okay, we just lost the battering ram there, I think. No, nearly. Is he... Yeah, is he going to go to Skegos and maybe... I don't know. Deal with some cannibals? Is he just going to... Like, are they going to bring the actors back again? Like, what's what's going to happen? Like, I don't know. It'd be, is he going to go kill Bran? But uh, George R. R. Martin seems to be helping to uh, ride on it and whatever he does, sort of see over it. But I kind of just want him to finish the goddamn books, to be honest. We don't want to fucking... 
sad and poor wheel of time situation. We've lost 5% to their 18. Nice, we're making some progress. So unfortunately, the battering ram was crushed there, so we'll send them up. 5% to their 19. So we're slowly but surely chipping away at the Targaryens on the inside. The Lannisters have let us in, <laughs> I suppose. Yeah, where's Jamie? Are we going to make it before Kingslayer stabs the Mad King in the back? But I am uh, really impressed with House of the Dragon. I didn't think it would be this good. I'm really, really enjoying it. What do you guys reckon? It's weird after the end of Game of Thrones. Bonus episodes. Didn't he say he was going to finish Windsor Winter before Hot D? <laughs> yeah, I think he says a lot of shit, George R. R. Martin. <laughs> I kind of love him a lot. <laughs> He's great. Right, still got most of the army in reserve. But... Yeah, it's going to be a brutal siege of King's Landing. Oh, where are the Tullys? Oh, where's Panda Wayne to come back? What mod is this? Fire and Blood. You can find it on Mod DB. Yeah, there are the Tullys. Weird to see them show up. All right, let's uh, move everyone in. Let's go, go, go. Let's fucking send it. But here are the Dragon's Bodyguard. Here is the Mad King's Retainer. They really had to pass a low bar, though. <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong, Ace. After that last season. But, man, I was fucking so, so worried. But, um, yeah. I, from what I've seen, how successful the show is, I wouldn't be surprised if they're going to do a Blackfire Rebellion or, um... Aegon's Conquest. I think they're actually saving Robert's Rebellion for a movie. I think that's been like that's been off and on for ages. Like that could like Robert's Rebellion, like you could put that as a movie. Like a two hour movie. I reckon that it would go that would sell crazy. But they had a bunch of shows in development that they cancelled. Apparently they cancelled the Flea Bottom show and another one. Potentially Nymeria. What I don't want to see is a bloody Duncan Egg show just yet. There's only, he's only written, like, what, three, four novellas? And <laughs> people are still saying they want a show. It's like, no, we've just finished the goddamn book. We don't want another Game of Thrones situation here. All right, let's send in the um, cavalry. All right, so fierce fighting on the walls of King's Landing. We're slowly but surely pushing them back. We've crushed 50% of them. The poor city watch, not, or well, nowhere near as battle hardened as Robert's troops. Slowly but surely making our way up to the steps of Baylor. I agree, the gold cloaks in this new series seem more Targaryen. Well, yeah, I think it's the whole thing. George said that he wanted to have more heraldry and stuff make it look more fantasy make it more colorful but hey this is like the height of targaryen power this is the point where they've had the most amount of dragons they're the richest um house in the realm and the red keep is a bustling place so i do like it but I am curious to see... I think, like, the pacing of it is good as well. Like, I thought that... I honestly thought they wouldn't do, it like, a massive time jump until maybe season two. But they've gone, like, what, one year, two year... Like, they've gone, like, a year per episode, which I think is great. Because the the Dance with Dragons... The Dance of Drag... The Dance of the Dragons, like, really doesn't kick off until they're about 30 or so. So... I think House of the Dragon is meant to go for like three, four seasons as well. I'm excited. I'm really, really happy with it. 
But hey, they could still fuck it up, I guess. But so far, they've been pretty faithful to the uh, short amount of content. Well, it's not like Game of Thrones. It's not like dreams and POV and stuff. And it's not like verbatim or what the characters have said, but I think they're doing a pretty good job. NT. Hot D is just amazing while Rings of Power sucks. They fucked up all the characters. Yeah, oh, they fucked up all the, he the character. Yeah, they fucked the characterization of the heroes. Well, the thing is, they've said this. It's an adaptation. So. Fuck you for reading the books and fucking enjoying um, <laughs> um, Peter Jackson's um, adaptation, I suppose. Fuck you. Uh, I, I, I don't like Peter Jackson's Lord of the Rings. I only like the, I only like the '80s Lord of the Rings, where it's cartoon. And have you guys seen that? That's fucking crazy. If you guys want to see something absolutely whack, you might need to be uh, off your fucking rocker. But like that, it's like it's weird. How, I don't know what it's called. It's like that art style where it's like a person, but it's like silhouetted and they've like painted and drawn over it, like the like. I don't know how to describe it. It's like a, a movie technique that they used to do because they didn't have like crazy animation in like the 80s and the 90s. Yeah, go watch that Lord of the Rings. It's fucking wild. I believe John Hurt um, voices Aragon. Yeah, that's how fucking old that, ap that adaptation is. Blackfire and Aegon's Conquest would be good. Yeah, I reckon. Hot D is amazing in every episode. Rings of Power is much to be desired. I, I'm just shocked about the difference. Like, there are stuff redeeming about, like, Rings of Power in the sense that, like... Well, not redeeming. It's just... I, I, no, I don't... I, don't I, I disagree with what I, the fuck I just said. Um, the look of it isn't too bad. Like... I think like, they spent so much money on the cities. Like, I, I actually don't mind some of the architecture. Like, those panning city shots. Like, Numenor actually doesn't look too bad. But when you sort of zoom on and down into it, it just, like, it just doesn't f feel like I would think Numenor would be. It feels like just some, like, shitty ancient Greek knockoff. Do you know what I mean? Like, are the, are the Numenorians on the boats meant to be, like, Athenians? Like, do you know what I mean? Like, it just doesn't feel like what I would think Lord of the Rings or Numenor uh, would be. I don't know, man. Would like to see a new Game of Thrones for console. Yeah, I never really played the other game. Oh, yeah, whatever happened to Telltale? Oh, God. That just reminded me. I, uh... Fucking forgot about those games. Yeah, I think Telltale went under. Like, they bought a bunch of licenses... Allegedly for games, and then they couldn't pay it back, and then, yeah, whatever happened to that? That was actually not bad, that Game of Thrones Telltale game. Just didn't lead to anything, because they didn't finish it. They had a couple of those. They had, like, Walking Dead, um, The Wolf Among Us. The dance will be, yeah. I don't want to spoil it too much, but yeah. I know the story. I don't want to talk about like future spoilers too much. Because people got upset with me. But I get it. You might only want to watch up to date on the episodes, but yeah. That's I think I'll do from now on. We'll just talk about the up to date episodes on these videos. Bethesda wanted to make something similar, but they couldn't get a copy. Yeah, I think I think that console Game of Thrones game, which was just like the Night's Watch on the wall, was so bad and so badly received that George was like, I ain't fucking doing another video game again. And Todd Howard was like, well, what the fuck? What am I going to do now? So I'm just going to make Skyrim and then have essentially General Tullius be Tywin Lannister. Like there's so many similarities in that Skyrim game. Which is like completely ripped off Game of Thrones. It's a joke. And like fucking Ulfric is essentially Rob Stark, pretty much. 
Nice. Hopefully we've knocked off Aegon now. Aegon? Why am I saying Aegon? The Mad King. Ares. 85%. Alright. Bobby B is about to plant his... Bobby Butt <laughs> on the uh, Iron Throne soon, I suppose. A couple good battles here. Yeah, it just shows you how harder and longer it takes to manually conquer castles and settlements in this game without goddamn dragons. They really are so, so powerful. Alright, we need to get this uh, battering ramp here. And then we'll make a beeline to the red keep to cap it. But they've basically given up here now. There's just a couple units here and there. But yeah, with the Jon Snow show, I guess they could bring the Night King back just for Jon to kill him. To be fair, not everything in House of the Dragon is perfect. I'm not the biggest fan of Aegon's prophecy. But there's also weird shit like... They talk about like the Blood Mages of Valyria. Like I wasn't expecting to talk about... There was even like law. They were expanding lore shit which I was kind of blown, a, blown away with. What did they talk? The they they called something like the blood mages hang out in this pit called the like, I can't even remember what they would call it. The Morgan something, the Forgan Morgan or something. What was it? There was some pit where they did like blood magic, which was fucked. The Tullys arrived for the battle a little late. Yeah, I kind of didn't have the aggressive stance activated. I fucking just left it on default, so they were kind of just. Sitting there, uh, twiddling their old uh, fishy thumbs, I suppose. Okay, we might actually just be able to crush the last of these units and then win, maybe. This battle's going a little bit longer than what I anticipated. There's still a unit back in the red keep, so we'll try and take it. There's been four episodes so far, and they've gone seven years in the timeline. Yeah, so that's why I was like, that's pretty good. Galadriel looks like she's annoyed about everything. I, I'm not the biggest fan of the casting of her, to be honest. I think they could have gotten someone better. I actually think the casting's been off for a lot of that show. Like, even, um, I can't stand the look of Elrond. Like, God. I think that's terrible. Telltale is making an Expanse game right now, I think. Yeah, that's what I was sort of, um, anogrion. N1 Co. Fucking on point, bro. Yeah, what the fuck is an anogrion? Anogrion. Uh, <laughs> like, boom. Oh, bump the mic. Good fucking job. <laughs> yeah, like, the, even like, like, I wasn't expecting to, like, hear about an anogrion. <laughs> like, what? What the flying fuck is that? <laughs> That's my new favorite word. Fucking anogrion. Oh god. All right, let's move out the battling ra a bat the uh, a battering ram, so we can push into the uh, red keep. But yeah, I wonder if the expanse game is going to be any good. I love the expanse. Some of the episodes and stuff are a little bit iffy here and there, but hey, I really, really like that show. I love that universe. But controversially, I'm not the biggest fan of the Belters. Ah, you built the ladder, fam. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, okay. But it looks like that game's more so about the Belters and stuff. But yeah, I don't know. I thought, like,. To be fair, like, I feel like over the last year, Prime has been, like, my main video service that I go on. Like, The Boys, fucking great. Invincible, 
Like, I don't like cartoons, but I was blown away by that. Uh, I actually quite liked Reacher. I don't mind that. That was an interesting adaptation. Um, I haven't read the books, but I know a lot of people like the, um, uh, the books for that. They hated the Tom Cruise movie adaptation. But I'm just shocked how bad Rings of Power is. Like, for my, in my opinion, Prime was smashing it out of the park. I actually didn't mind the Terminal list with Chris Pratt. Some people don't like Chris Pratt, but I, I kind of get that. But the Terminal list as a book series is very, very good. I do watch a lot of TV shows. Okay, so Bobby B lost 700. Aries lost 1,000. Andy's life. And then I guess we sack King's Landing. A Wolf Among Us... Yeah, I read that, I think. Yeah, A Wolf Among Us sequel is coming out, yeah. A lot of people like that. Have I ever played the original Game of Thrones game on PlayStation? No, I said I hadn't. I heard it's not very good. The Night's Watch one. Nice. So, King's Landing is ours. Massive. Quite lucky not to get intercepted. Alright, let's check a save. So, I'll be back in a moment. I am busting for a piss. <laughs> I'll be back mom momentarily and we'll continue on with this Bobby B. Baratheon campaign. I'll be back in a sec. Okay, I'm back. Yeah, so let's have a battle against uh, Monfred Valarion and Agor. Cool. Let's have a battle with Stannis the Manus. Okay. And um, hmm. yeah, what are they? wait? These are heavies, stag swordsmen. So we will get the men at arms to uh, flank, essentially. And we'll move them there. We might get Tarth to flank, and we'll get 
Stannis to sit at the back. But here is the one true king of Westeros in the Clash of Kings scenario. Stannis the Manus. Already got the, the black, yellow, and red fiery stag upon his uh, breastplate. <laughs> nice. Alright. Let's continue up against House of Valarian. Alright, let's move up. Let's deal with the sea snake's ancestors, I suppose. The units look quite cool. They kind of remind me of the dragon glass units or armor in uh, the Elder Scrolls Skyrim. I kind of wish their armor was a bit better in the show, to be fair. Let's bring down these Targaryen loyalists, I suppose. Anything big happened since I got? Oh, you know, just the little old thing of the Siege of King's Landing, Shrek's son. <laughs> Bobby B may have claimed the Iron Throne by conquest. Well, the thing is, the Baratheons obviously do have a strong claim to the throne, as um, Oris Baratheon is the uh, bastard son or brother of Aegon, the Conqueror. Nice. The Baratheons battling once again. Let's give out uh, multiple attack orders. And swing around with you. Uh, move Stannis up again. Make sure everyone's double timing. Nice. Engaging the cavalry. Wrap around you. Try and hit these units from multiple sides. Let's bring down these seahorse fellas. 30% of their 12 lost. Nice. Completely surrounded these Valarion men at arms. Putting them to the sword. Right, let's push them. Nice. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Selwyn Tarth died. Oh, God. I thought it was their general. Shit. That's not good whatsoever. Fucking Brienne's father died in Robert's Rebellion in this alternative timeline. Oh, no. <laughs> shit. Bodyguard units are pretty damn strong. Yeah, here we go. Well, to be fair, they are a pretty strong house. House Valarion. Long live Aegon, second of his name. Alright. There goes Monfred. Do I hear treason against. The rightful Queen Rhaenyra. Alright. Let's uh, end the battle there. <laughs> Brienne of Tarth now rules. Yeah, Tarth. Yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> interesting. I played the Game of Thrones game on console. I liked it. They could have done more though. Yeah. It's good that you liked it. I've heard it's not very good though. But I, I, I personally haven't played it, so I don't know. I heard that... Um, there's like not many choices. It's very like uh, it's it's just like you just like play the game. You don't actually have really much agency or choice over the, some of the decisions, and it's pretty dated now as well. And I swear I heard that back in like 2015. <laughs> that game came out like 2010, 2012. I could be wrong. It was a very very long time ago. Nice. Stannis doing bits. Unfortunately, we lost a fucking Tarth there. Yeah, you're right. Brienne now rules. 
shit. <laughs> Okay, cool. Well, I guess we get Bobby B just to sit in here for now. And let's end the turn and continue. Will he get a trait being the rightful king upon the Iron Throne? Now? Uh, no. Donald Swan came of age. The undead have the financial. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Okay, let's uh, start sacking some Reach territory now. To try and get our money back. I would rather sack than raise. Yeah, because I want money. Uh, to be fair, we're not actually getting that much money. Still pulling back to Black Haven. Okay, I think I might move this army north so that Bobby can leave King's Landing. So, let's move you guys north. And we did have to have a quick little diversion there with Stannis. We still want to try and defend the north, so we got a northern army. We've got a southern army at Blackhaven. And an army at Haystack. So we'll move you north. We've got a full stack at King's Landing with Bobby B. And we've got this one there as well. Pretty hard to see exactly how the war is going overall, but hopefully the Baratheon Stark Alliance is winning. Godry uh, Rosby here. Let's run them down and execute. Let's move back to King's Landing. Definitely want Bobby B to try and throw anything back that threatens the region of King's Landing. Yeah, Alisane Bulwer. Not entirely sure who that is. So there are potential princesses around. Just depends. Okay. Let's uh, push for Stokeworth. Who's inside? Uh, Rosbury. Uh, Rosby, who fled back. Let's get Stannis on the move still. I'm nearly tempted to move the Navy into the Blackwater. So... Oh, okay, so we can actually have... We've got some line of sight here in Stone Dance. Or maybe I move this army out then. I was being a little bit passive here. Yeah, maybe we send this army up to try and pressurize them here. Damon Valarion. Valarion. And Rhaegar is currently hanging out at Dragonstone. Interesting. That he's there. Looks like uh, the Arons under... Red Fort, Waxley, and Waynewood are attacking Rook's Rest. Riker is at <laughs> number number one. <laughs> uh, Riker is at Duskendale. And let's move you there. That's a reference. <laughs> number one. Okay. Let's chuck a save and continue on. But we haven't had a game crash in today's stream yet. Oh god, now we've been attacked. Maybe it's because of the dragons. I don't know. Maybe they tend to do it. Uh, Jason, there is a ton of custom campaigns in this mod. The best one to play, for sure. Best one to play, I'm not sure. Yeah, I, I think it seems to be pretty good. Depends what you want to play. If you want to play multiple timelines... I think it's pretty good. Okay, so... Uh, we might have to play this one. I don't know why we're so unfavored, to be honest. No, the Game of Thrones one is pretty good. Now that it's been fully up... The Game of Thrones one was probably one of the worst ones. Like, one of the, the earlier versions. But now they've actually um, got custom settlements and... 
custom leaders and stuff. So it's not too bad. Yeah, so we don't have much of an actual army. It's mostly just cavalry spam, this one. That's kind of cool. Well, I've got to be a little bit careful with potentially how many lords we can use. So we have some buckler men at arms, some stag crossbowmen, stag pikemen, and buckler crossbowmen in the back. We've also got one unit of Penrose bowmen, and then we've got some other lords here. But I don't think there's many other mods where you can play Robert's Rebellion in the campaign. Obviously CK2, the Game of Thrones mod. But, uh, yeah, I, I can't, I don't think I've ever done a Robert's Rebellion campaign on the YouTube channel. Playing on Medieval 2. I can't, I can't remember. That's why I decided to do it here today. Because I was like, why not play as Bobby B? We might do uh, Aegon next time. Aegon the Conqueror. Playing with him and his, well, uh, sister wives, I suppose. <laughs> so we're coming up against some Crown Land units. But so far, we've lost a couple units in Robert's Rebellion. We've also taken crucial points as well. It's basically play your favorite faction when they're the strongest. It feels more feudal than vanilla or other mods. Yeah, no, this seems pretty good. I'm enjoying it. There's a crazy amount of time periods, though. So maybe we should um, pick a couple campaigns. I might do a vote. I don't know. What do you guys reckon? What a Game of Thrones slash Fire and Blood... squishy these generals the houses of uh, Westeros are going to be a lot smaller <laughs> Play your favorite faction. I'm new to the game. Rob Stark, the Last Dragon. Yeah, play with House Lannister. I'm playing with Daenerys. Yeah, I've done. Uh, yeah, no, I have done a Stannis and a Daenerys series r recently. But to be fair, like it's been a while since I've done those Game of Thrones campaigns from like way, way back in the day. God, I've done so many of them. 
People still enjoy those campaigns. Like, I have done, like, I don't know, three, four Stark campaigns, but everyone loves House Stark. No one gets sick of them. But, too, if I haven't live streamed any Game of Thrones content until, well, today and yesterday. So, maybe it'll be slightly different. You guys being able to interact live with the campaigns as well help us with decisions. We've also got our CK2 as well. Still plenty of houses on that I haven't played. Everyone's just trading generals here at the moment. Holy shit. Was risky pushing out? Probably wasn't the play. I don't know if we're going to be, have enough strength to actually siege out. Sharp point in a couple of those settlements uh, north on the point of the Stormlands. How strong are those enemy troops if nearly all your bodyguards are wiped out? Yeah, that's what I was kind of thinking as well. That the Stormland bodyguard are a little bit squishy. I think just the Targaryens are just so, so powerful. CK2 is the best option to play with a lot of houses. Yeah, I do quite like the, um, the title system. Particularly for Game of Thrones. Uh, it's in the battle there. Jeez, an average victory. We just kind of trade it a lot. A thousand deaths would be still less than he deserved. Ugh, Robert Andrega. A thousand deaths would still be less than he deserved. But, yeah, I think playing as, um... Aegon, the Conqueror, for example, might be a better option on CK2 compared to this, because you are just, like, annexing and exterminating and fully, full on conquering the Seven Kingdoms instead of, like, puppeting them. Because really, it's like you win a couple battles against the Tyrells and the Arons and stuff, and then they shit themselves and they bend the knee. Like, you'd, we don't, you know what I mean? Like, it might actually be better doing that on CK2 if I'm in the Game of Thrones mood. You can play with Dragon Lord named Orion, who declared himself first Emperor of Valyria after the Doom. Yeah, I haven't gone that far back as well. I guess it does go that far back in CK2. To Valyria. Because back in the days of old Valyria, the Targaryens like weren't even one of the major houses. Nor dragon riders. So Penrose Buckley have died. Which sucks. But yeah, playing as House Targaryen when they're like a minor house in Valyria, I suppose that could be quite cool. Alright, let's uh, move to Tumbleton. Seems like there's a larger force there though. So thankfully the attacks in the south have sort of cooled off a bit. Oh, we could push for Will. Um, I might send a scout south. Or we might be better off... If we could hold this crossing, it actually might be more beneficial to us than Blackhaven. Hang on, we might have an opportunity here. Yeah, let's push into Martell lands. Still hemorrhaging cash. So, have we got enough to actually push into Stone Dance? I think so. Maybe the... Um, the armies that pushed us are kind of like came out yeah maybe they came out from sharp point and stone dance
True, Aegon's conquest is more easy in CK2. I actually don't know if it's easy. I just think it's, um... It just makes more sense, like, gameplay-wise. If anything, it's easier than this, because dragons are way more overpowered in that game. You can actually control them. In CK2, the dragon and fights are a little bit RNG. <laughs> like, there's not much you really can do about it. Okay, uh, let's attack Godry uh, Rosby. Nice. Slowly but surely bringing more crown land territory under Baratheon control. We move to uh, Rosby now after killing their lord. Gendry Rosby's inside. Uh, we'll besiege Tumbleton. We'll make that play in a second. Uh, Stannis is trying to make his way to King's Landing. And we're pushing here as well. We're doing well. The Targaryens are on the back f oh, the back foot as another false... Oh, no, we had a game crash. Oh, shit. Oh, no. I'll reset the music while I'm alt-tabbed. Oh, shit. Yeah, so how long is this now? An hour 40. I'll restart the game. It won't take me too long. So, about an hour 40 for me, the Fire and Blood mod just crashes. Has anyone else tried to live stream this on YouTube? Like, have you watched anyone else play this? I can't be the only one. I haven't looked, to be fair. Uh, after the... Yeah, oh. Orion. Uh, after the Doom marched into Valyria with his dragon, 30k troops disappeared. In CK2, you can survive and conquer uh, Essos like Pentos. Oh, cool. I didn't know that. I didn't know I went that far back. There are no men like me. There's only me. Jimmy fucking Lannister. Hey, I'm on vacation. Just popped in to say hi. Josh. Oh, thanks, Josh. Hope you're enjoying your time off. At least you saved the game. Yes, thanks, Sammy. At least I spam save the game constantly, like after every turn. Yeah, I just have to. <laughs> I feel like constantly saving. I probably look like a maniac, but for the last, I don't know, 10 fucking years, I play so many games and so many sketchy mods that, like, crash so much. It's, like, seared into my fucking skull. Save the goddamn game. <laughs> okay, so we've got maybe some potential princesses here. Who we got? Lara uh, Blackmont. Who is... Victoria Tyrell. Never heard of her before. Maybe she's Mace's sister or aunt or something. I don't know. Anyway, let's get Simon Connington and the boys to go on a Martell Dornish offensive. House. What? Will? While? I don't think I've ever tried to say that out loud. All right, let's besiege this one. Uh, Stannis is moving north to help on out. Okay, uh, Bobby B can probably take Rosby. I think we'll try and get all this crown land territory, as much of it under our control as we can. And then we'll make a play for uh, Rhaegar. The eunuch and the imp. The best companions to have. Uh, yeah, I guess. Yeah, I like their chemistry um, earlier in the seasons. Not so much in season 8. Man, they did him dirty. He <laughs> uh, Varus, the spider. 
Let's uh, push and take Brindlewood. Stokeworth seems to be defending. He was so pissed off when they uh, killed him off in that table read, if you haven't seen the clip. Oh, God. Some of the table reads for that last season. Fucking cringe. Kill me. <laughs> I'd be so upset as an actor. Okay, let's take uh, Brindlewood. Oh, so Arthur Dane is here. Dude, what a chad. Crazy commanding. Stats, Massey's inside. Down. Garth Grace Deal and Leo Blackbar. Nice. Okay, so. I'm just trying to think if we should push further west with this army. Put more pressure on the, um, the Reach. Because we've done alright. After that defeat against Night Song, I thought we were going to get absolutely steamrolled, to be honest. But, um, Harvest Hall, never got attacked. We've pushed south well. Oh, did they, st oh, wow, they stopped attacking even for Hall. Huh. Interesting. I guess we besiege, uh, Sharp Point. Where's our navy? Here. Push here. Do I go after the... I don't know if I've got a big enough army. Uh, to be fair, maybe stopping him going to Duskendale. Bobby B. Fighting Kingsguard units might be fun. Bro, Selmy didn't deserve that. No, he didn't deserve that shit whatsoever. The actor who ever played him was bloody brilliant. Okay, so if I attack... Oh, wow. The Arons have taken Duskendale. Nice. Great to see when the AI is... Effective in conquering territory. <laughs> Alright, let's um, attack Arthur Dane. Get Dawn. Dawnstar. A Valyrian steel sword. Wait, no, it's not. It's, um, it's formed out of a fucking meteor, isn't it, actually? Jamie, no oh, is this Jamie Lannister? Oh, wow. Buckwell, Riker, and Rosby. 
Well, Robert Baratheon can kill Jaime as he's fled with Sir Arthur Dane. What a crazy turn of events. Yeah, maybe Cersei won't be too happy to marry Robert if we kill Jaime. So this could probably give us a justification to not marry the Lannisters. Tywin might be like, fuck that. But I suppose it's cool to see House Aaron doing bits. Pushing into the Crownlands. Can we see them? No, they're just Targaryen units. They're not actually looking like um, Kingsguard killed Jamie. Yeah. Jamie fucking Lannister. Bobby B's gonna fucking smash his Warhammer into him. Cave in his fucking chest. And then we've got to get rid of Rhaegar. And then that's it. I don't think Viserys or Daenerys are going to be anywhere near of age. Before we finish off the Mad King and his cronies once and for all. Let's give out some attack orders. Move up. Uh, Robert Baratheon. Hopefully this is the last major battle we have to fight. Against the Targaryen loyalists. The stag and the dragon mingling again. Took a break to check out why I hated Rings of Power and I hate it even more. Yeah. Is that fourth episode any good? I haven't watched it. God. The more I talk about it, I'm probably encouraging people to go and watch it. <laughs> people that are like morbidly curious. <laughs> like, yeah, I want to go see this fucking car crash of a show. You know what I mean? Sometimes like, oh, that sounds fucked up. I'm going to go watch that. <laughs> but hey, the C is always right. Remember that? <laughs> I saw a bit. It was like, what was it? It was on something. It was like, yes, the C is always right. Yes. And the mountains are always wrong. <laughs> Like, what, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck are you saying? Oh, God. This shit's too funny, man. Beautiful CG. Yeah, that's what I thought as well. I was, I was I was talking about it before. Like, the architecture like of Numenor, like, if you zoom out, I actually don't mind that. Like, I think that's actually not too bad. Shame if they put more effort fucking into the, sh the, uh, the rest of the show rather than the architecture. It's like they it's like they probably um got people on to do it. To be fair, didn't they sack a bunch of the law guys like last year, like people working on the show? Like heaps of the law people left and that was a big deal. Can you guys link for the mod? It's just Fire and Blood Total War. It fucking says here, just Google it. <laughs> Like, literally, yeah. Fire and Blood, Total War. Mod DB. And there'll be instructions how to install it as well. They sacked all of them. Yeah, I had a feeling. Well, they, they, they were just like... I think they were going to do, like, the Second Age or whatever. And then they just were like, ah, we'll take bits from here and there. We'll do our own thing and jumble it all together. Fucking YOLO. Jeff Bezos. You only make it Lord of the Rings show once. Fucking YOLO. <laughs> oh, God. Nice. Very good win. Bobby's army's fucked now, though. 
Absolutely cooked. We might need to make a play for um, Dragonstone. Because we might be able to destroy... Oh. I was going to say House Targaryen. Oh, excuse me. House Targaryen is a faction. So, what's this? Oh, it's a big army. Shit. Oh, no. We're fucked. Out of nowhere. Boom. 370 versus 2000. That's a lot of Targaryen units. Swan. Buckler. Penrose. Fucking GG. Their dialogue writing is bad. As the Mad King today while defending the capital. Yeah. Not wrong. It. Yeah. It just doesn't feel like Lord of the Rings. Yeah, so Aegon... Uh, sorry. Uh, Rhaegar is still sitting there. So we should make a play to get rid of him. So let's move this army... To King's Landing. And we'll rally up and then we'll make a play to go to Dragonstone. We might have a chance. Oh, now we're making money, which is pretty good. We can actually get units from King's Landing. We probably should get some maesters where we can as well, to be fair. Because I want to try I do want to try and sue for peace with some of the houses. If they're inclined. I don't know if they're necessarily going to be. But hey, it's probably worth the uh attempt. Robert will get killed. Oh, he died. What? What do you mean, Robert died? Oh, no, Rob, you scared the shit out of me. I thought Robert died. <laughs> no, he didn't. Fucking pranked me. Oh, Renly's come of age. Is that a Lando Bloom? <laughs> yeah, that's not a... um. That's a cri criticism of the Game of Thrones show. I actually would have liked a better actor to play... Uh, Renly, because I really like Renly in the books. In the show, it's like, yeah. No, no, I don't like him that much in the show. The actor who plays, or the ca even just him as well. Like, he's meant to be like the second coming of Robert. Like, he's just a, a guy that just like happens to be gay. I think they just made it way more of a thing in the show. Do you know what I mean? Like, all that, him and the, all that Loras stuff was rumored. It wasn't like guaranteed that it happened. Like, that's why so many... That's why so many Stormlanders supported Renly. Because he rocked up with the arm and he was... And he looked like fucking Robert Baratheon. And they're like, Oh, Jesus, we can't really say no to this fucking guy. Because the last guy brought down a Targaryen dynasty that had been lasting for a thousand fucking years. And like, hey, guys, we want to join my rebellion? <laughs> okay. If Robert died at the Battle of the Trident, I don't think the war would have ended. I think Stannis would have continued the war. I think Stannis would have fucking starved to death. I don't know about that. Stannis couldn't get out of the fucking siege. But also, like, Robert kind of commanded him to hold it, so... I guess it works both ways. No, I reckon Robert. if Robert died, they're fucked. Chronicles of Narnia from the 70s or the 80s. <laughs> yeah. I'm not the biggest C.S. Lewis fan. I liked those movies as a kid, though. They were like the next best thing you could get after fucking... Lord of the Rings. God, those fucking movies are better than that Rings of Power show. Uh, let's give... Yeah. Stannis, that other army. Let's make a run for Dragonstone. Oh, that play to Stone Dance, Stone Dance didn't fucking work. I guess it works if we're baiting them out there. Who are you? Alright, uh, Stannis has... Wait, why isn't Stannis commanding this? 
I want Stannis to be the commander. No. There we go. Just need to get to a point where he has the ability to command this force. Uh, let's do this. Of chain, a mother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the the ringing of the bell. No. Daenerys is like one eighty to becoming. Uh, fucking you know who. Starts with an A. It ends with an H. <laughs> Like, that was fucking, uh, crazy. Oh, House Martell want peace. Nice, they want to forsake the Targaryens. Oh, that's massive. Thank God we invested in some maesters. Trade rights for peace. Yeah, I wonder if it's because we have King's Landing now. Okay, so... Can we find any... Oh, wow. Look at the range of these maesters. Shit. Let's negotiate with the Tyrells. They're not interested. Uh, how about I give you some regions back? Let's give you Tumbleton and Brindenwood and see what they say. Okay, how about I just give you Brindlewood and see what they say. Rejected. Um, this is the best way to force peace in Game of Thrones Total War, Westeros Total War, these ones. Uh, still just rejected. But they are interested in it. So we're at war with the Targs and Tyrell soon. So maybe we might be able to come to an accord. Uh, maybe I move you to High Garden, and I move you to Sunspear. Oh, I do like that in this mod the range of these diplomats. That's very very cool. Uh, we'll move you to Harrenhal. Okay, where are my armies? So we'll try and knock off. Oh no, Viserys has just come of age now. <laughs> Unfortunate. Daenerys is probably going to be the only one. Oswell, Knight of the King's Guard. Let's get Stannis to go after him. You just forced him by capturing Elia. Maybe. Maybe that's the role play. Push to Haywood now. Okay. Um. We're good down here. 
Yeah, I wonder if there's a princess somewhere. I, I just hate how it's like so RNG to find. Oh no, here's one. Uh, she's 54. Lara, get over here. <laughs> Blackmont. <laughs> Wait, what is that display picture? Oh, it's the Lady Arwen. Interesting. Uh, whoops, I need to change. Oh shit, hang on. Why did I? F how did I flip that? There we go. Okay, you're mo moving here. Yeah, so I guess we can leave now. We had this army on the Dornish border. It doesn't fucking need to be here anymore. Excuse me. We can probably move it to deal with the uh, Tyrells. Maybe we just need to push them a bit. But Stannis is pushing to Hayford. Being a lot more of a competent commander in this series compared to being stuck at Storm's End. Bro, I can't wait until... They get... To, oh, that scene at Storm's End that's coming up in House of the Dragon. I don't know when it's going to happen, but it's going to be fucking good. Like, we haven't... Like, how, these four se uh, episodes of House of the Dragon have been so good. We haven't even got to, like, the height of the dance either, man. Bro. Okay. Hayford is mine. And we're racking up. King's Guard kills. Tommen, 42. I don't even know who this Tommen is. Okay, do we renegotiate with the Tyrells? So I will give you... I need to remember. I could actually give you Harvest Hall. Harvest Hall, Grease, uh, G Vale, and Tumbleton. And then they might sue for peace. So I will give you a generous compensation... So, Vale, Hall, is one of our core territories as well. Tumbleton. Ceasefire, peace, trade. Accepted, nice. So, the Tyrells, along with the Martells, have bent the knee to Robert Baratheon. We're only at war with the Targaryens now. Cool. Yeah, so the um, the Lannisters have really yet to pick a side, I suppose. Right, that army's still moving north. Actually, I might need to move you back to Storm's End because Renly might be compromised here. The storytelling is just great, unlike R.O.P. It's just not fucking boring. But I need, we need to stop talking about Rings of Power, Jesus Christ. There will be some people that are, are, are okay with it, and probably are sick of the criticism of the show, to be fair. Okay, uh, let's hopefully finish off House Targaryen here, if we're lucky. How stark, what do they want? I actually go to Haystack Hall. You can go there as well. Nice. Nice. There's a bloody Aaron Merchant there. I 
I'm just sort of pinging around the Seven Kingdoms trying to see if there's any princesses available. The late Tywin. Yeah, I don't know what Tywin's doing. Yeah, neutral, same with the Greyjoys. But even um, the Greyjoy Rebellion, after Robert took the throne, when his claim was a little bit weak and the realm was a little bit shaken, even that would be... Maybe worth playing after this campaign. I wasted four hours of my life. I'm so pissed. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, Rhaegar's inside with Dark Sister. And Viserys is there as well. So Bobby B in this alternative timeline has had to storm and attack Dragonstone to get rid of Rhaegar. Instead of his body flowing down the trident, it's going to flow down the narrow sea from Dragonstone. <laughs> is that the end of the house? How is that not? Alright, let's repair the dragon glass mine. They mustn't have too many settlements left. Oh yeah, uh, Stokeworth is now the faction leader of the Targaryens. Hilarious. Alright, let's continue on to the antlers. Uh, there mustn't be too many more settlements to take. I want to try and fully capitulate them if we can. They've still got seven regions, which is still quite a bit. But it should have ended now, realistically, this war. I recommend saving before every battle and at the end of every turn. Yeah, I, I save constantly. <laughs> How about marrying into the Greyjoys? Oh shit, Stannis has been attacked here by a Targaryen full stack out of fucking nowhere. Who's this? Gerald, Lord Commander of the King's Guard. Barristan the Bold is with him. Hayford and Buckwell. Oh shit. Oh no. Stannis the Manus might have met his end. Fuck. I mean, you could do three marriages, yeah. Oh shit. No. Oh, we might have got Stannis killed. Shit. <laughs> Can I do a save? Oh my god. What a crazy turn of events this would be. I was not expecting a full stack to come out of nowhere. I thought they were fucked. And like on the back foot massively. Shit. Oh no. Stannis the Manus. Yeah, we're fucked. <laughs> no, Stannis. Yeah, I know. I think he's fucking dead as. It's going to take a fucking miracle for him to beat that. For some reason, these king... These dragon body... Uh, dragon... What are they called? Yeah, dragon bodyguard are fucking overpowered as shit. Compared to our scrubby... Stormlander units. To be fair, not going to lie, was not expecting... A full stack to come out of nowhere like this. Gonna go down swinging, though. It's probably deserved. We've killed so many Targaryens and fucking... Oh, Stannis is already under attack here. And Lannisters is probably deserved.
He might be able to retreat. Because he's the one I really care about. Maybe I should just retreat with... Uh, just continue to move back. Stannis can do it. Stannis, I don't think Stannis can do it. Maybe if the bodyguards were evenly matched. Connington, Buckwell, Swan, dead. Uh, I guess I can... No, I can't even withdraw with Stannis. We're fucked. Stannis the Manus lies dead in Robert's Rebellion, I reckon. Just had a trash army. No. Where is he? Yeah, there he goes. Stannis killed. Oh no, I can't look. The humanity. Stannis, the heir of Storm's End. The Manus is fucking dead. Oh god. Stannis will eat some arrows. Yeah, he fucking did. How many eyes does Blood Raven have? A thousand eyes in one. Okay. Okay, okay. Every time Stannis goes on the offensive, he gets screwed. You're not wrong. <laughs> You're not wrong. Ah, the Battle of Winterfell kicked sooner. Yeah. Well, to be fair, he did die in the show, so. Try and get this peace treaty. And hopefully we can have peace in Westeros. I reckon Bobby would be open to the rest of the Targaryen bannermen. Bending, uh, bending the knee after. What is all this? Um, yeah, they might be, he might be open to having them bend the knee. After the death. Of Stannis. Woman empowerment. Uh, I don't know about that. I, I, I think Brienne had a pretty good claim to kill Stannis. Because she loved Renly. So. I just think cut, killing him off camera wasn't good. Renly was also... There was heaps more backstory in the books. With Renly and Brienne. 
So, Rosbury. Uh, no, what is it? The Antlers? Is that the other one? No, Driftmark. Oh, I guess we can give them this. Yeah, so the the it's technically not House Targaryen. It's the Targaryen Bannerman. We give them back their lands, the crown, uh, the crown landers, and then we can make peace. Let's make that offer. Oh, what? Marry Danny. <laughs> I don't think we're going to be able to do that. I guess we can give them Driftmark back. Peace, we give them that. Just rejected. Oh, what the fuck then? I thought they'd be open to that. Weird, but uh, whatever. Well, looks like Bobby B's going to continue on a fucking tirade then. Alright, let's rally up at King's Landing with these additional units that we recruited. We want to try and get more on the way as well. Because we've got a little bit cavalry heavy in some of these armies. And very unlike for a medieval 2 mod, the Baratheon cavalry are dog shit. Not even joking. All right, it's really up at King's Landing. Okay, so we've taken Drift Mark. Get back on the boat. We'll disembark at Sharp Point. We should be able to defeat a full stack here. There is a Targaryen full stack floating about somewhere. Maybe they'll be more open for peace next time around. I don't know. Yeah, we're still getting offers for Robert, but I want to try and find a princess if we can. So, Stokeworth. Yeah, we'll try and offer these five again. Will you accept this? Hey, they accepted. So we've made peace with the rest of the... Targaryen Bannerman. Alright, we have peace in Westeros. There are no wars going on for us. The Starks, the Boltons, the Freys, the Tully and Arryn Coalition have won... Bobby B has destroyed the royal line of House Targaryen. Nice. 20 turns in. Well, let's check a save. And maybe we'll do a toggle foe. Because we'll start to slowly wind things down and wrap things up here today. Because I've been streaming for over two hours. And we'll need to go to bed soon. But any last things in chat? Let me know in the comments. And let's have a look. Let's try and find uh, Robert Baratheon, a princess, if we can. We've won Robert's Rebellion. Yeah, so who are, like, the rest here? Yeah, random Bannerman. Bannerman. Another Lord Commander of the King's Guard. Yeah, so, like, you wouldn't actually have to manually... For oh, the Arryns were nearly there anyway. Yeah, there's, like, no Targaryens left. Yeah. So there's no point applying those. Anything going down in the Stepstones? Will you live stream some ho uh, Hoys soon? Uh, yeah, maybe if I get time. I live stream like two hours a day on the CMC FIFA slash uh, football main channel. 
And that game's coming out soon. Then I do two hours on this. I'm usually fucked. <laughs> After that. But no, I, I do want to try and upload back on that channel again. I do have plans for it. Okay, so Dawn hasn't really done anything. Oh, we've got some princesses here. Ooh, Ashara Dane. She could be a poten pen potential... Oh my god, who are these women? That is... Is that fucking... Um... Now they all serve Bobby B. Yep, they sure do. What's what's her name? Is that Ariana Grande? Uh, that's Emma Stone. <laughs> okay, so we can marry Bobby B to Emma Stone. <laughs> oh, that's so fucking stupid. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, anyone else here in Dawn? Okay. Any bachelors? We're going to get Bobby B to do like one of those Tinders in real life and just try and find a match. The Tullys took the Arbor. Could you imagine like fish tasting wine? Yuck. That's I'm blind. I can't see any other princesses here. Okay, so we could marry Bobby B to one of them. And then we've got Renly as well. Oh no, Stannis died, man. <laughs> we can't marry him off. Oh. Stannis did his fucking duty. Fucking Chad. Um, yeah, I can't. I, I guess I could manually click on it. Click on some of these. Castamere looks cool. Got some Starks. Eddard Stark, the Quiet Wolf. Oh, look. It's Elrond. Also, I think that as well. I, I think of Elrond in the show as fucking young Ned Stark. This fucking Tiger Lannister. We got the Greyjoys we could attack. Yeah, it only seems like there's Martell princesses. Well, they're not even Martell, they're Dane princesses. But they um, are rumored to have like Valyrian blood, aren't they? I'm pretty sure. There's, uh, there's weird shit about the Danes and stuff. Where are the Lannisters in the Westerlands? Where they always are? We got the White Walkers. Okay, so where's yeah? So I guess we marry. Um, oh, I'm not gonna be able to reach it. That fucking sucks. Hang on. Oh no, I can maybe. Yeah. So they're like hanging out here. Well, let's. Uh, so it's Ashara Dane. Yeah, because Ashara Dane is like rumored to be one of. Um, the potential mothers before it got officially announced in the show to be um, like Jon Snow, like R plus L equals J before that got officiated in the show. Did they just attack me in an ambush? The fuck? We had peace. Yeah, Shara Dane they think is um, potentially John's mother, which I don't think so. The great Emma, the beautiful, yeah, you know. And after Robert's Rebellion, Bobby B <laughs> made a proposal to Emma Stone. You know Emma Stone, the bastard from the Vale? <laughs> not, not the fucking woman from... Um, uh, is she in La La Land? Spider-Man? I don't know. I haven't watched an Emma Stone movie in a while. Yeah, Ashara... No, we, we want to get Emma Stone. Yeah, we'll do it with Emma Stone, even though Ashara Dane, like, law-wise, wouldn't be a bad shout. Yeah. A Ashara Dane or... Emma Dane? <laughs> yes, they would have purple eyes and white as yeah. Yeah. It's not a bad shout. <laughs> I'm saying it like it's a done deal. Like, they might just straight up reject. Oh, no. Here we go. Emma Stone is going to marry Bobby B. <laughs> Unbelievable. Un Unfucking believable. Ah, oh, great success. And all these peace treaties come in. Nice. 
Oh, that's it. What well, isn't um Uh Who's the chick that plays Wanda? I can't remember her name. Isn't she meant to be in Hot D Season 2? Apparently they're rumoured to be casting her, to be fair. Man. If Bobby B married Emma Stone, you'd fucking ruin her. Holy shit. She'd be so pissed at him. Winter is upon us. Oh, great. Just what we need. And I guess we'll get... Oh, why can't I... Wait, why isn't Renly the heir? Oh, I was going to say, I want to marry Renly. Too, but that's alright. Well, Bobby B found his wife, I guess. So, the Starks still have Harrenhal. The Arons went to town. Look at this, they took Rook's Crest, Duskendale, Maidenpool. Kind of impressed. Uh, anything else going on over here? I've never done an Essos campaign. The Triarchy still hanging out. Uh, what else we got here? We got the Valyrian ruins. All fucked up. We've got Slaver's Bay with Yunkai. And then we got like the Raptors and the Chinese and stuff over here. Basically. Norvos. Bravos. The Colossus there. I like, I like it a lot. Emma Stone for glory. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I guess it worked. Alright, well. Unfortunately, i got to wrap things up here today. Thank you very much for watching episode one of the Game of Thrones Total War Fire and Blood modded campaign. Playing as House Baratheon. Playing as Bobby B. We've killed all of the Targaryen royal family, except for Daenerys, but obviously she's a princess in this. She's not actually a general, so we can't get rid of her. We've taken King's Landing. Unfortunately, Stannis the Manus died, but hey... I've got a new wife. Em <laughs> this is so weird. Henry Cavill and Emma Stone. Like, marrying. Like, what the fuck? That's some, like, sh weird sort of shipping shit that we've done here. Elizabeth. Yeah, yeah. Wanda, whatever her name is. She's probably going to be in season two, yeah. Um, yeah, God. We just shipped Emma Stone and Henry Cavill. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, stay tuned for something tomorrow. I haven't decided what it will be. We could do episode two of this, but the thing is with these live streams, if you play for a couple of hours, you can usually wrap things up. Like, I think we're pretty much, what mod is this? Fire and Blood. Mod DB. You can check it out. Um, yeah, I think we're pretty much done with this campaign. Like, the only thing would be we could push to the next time period when everything's stabilized and maybe have the battle against the Greyjoys. Or we could go to Aegon's Conquest. Or maybe I should just pick a Clash of Kings faction to play us. But this campaign was a lot harder compared to the Rogue Prince campaign, just because we don't have fucking dragons. Like, it's so, so much harder. Um, yeah, maybe we should play Hus Martell. Maybe on the Clash of Kings scenario. We could play the Lannisters. I don't fucking know. Or maybe we go to CK2. Or maybe we should move on to something else and live stream something completely different. Always check the community po uh, page for polls because I do tend to chuck them out there but anyway we're going to wrap things up make sure to leave the stream if you uh, like if you haven't already and any last things you want to ask me before I go Bobby B is going to have black hair legitimate kids how glorious yeah because <laughs> it is currently 6 o'clock in the morning here in Australia and I got to sleep Alrighty, we'll leave it at that then. Well, thanks everyone for stopping by and keeping me... Um, fuck, I'm so tired. <laughs> keeping me... Uh, get, uh, get, oh, fuck. <laughs>
<laughs> I'm fucking tripping. Yeah, thanks for keeping me company. <laughs> I was trying to say, Jesus Christ. Um, black or green? Uh, black all day. What are you, some sort of traitor going for the greens? Rhaenyra is the one true king, uh, queen of Westeros. Aegon is a usurper. I spit on him. Yeah, anyway, yeah. Thanks, guys. Really appreciate all the support. Make sure to take care of yourselves. Have a fantastic rest of your day. My name has been Simsy, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. Goodbye, guys. Thank you so much. Bye.